I'm directing the U.S. military to lead an emergency mission to establish a temporary pier in the Mediterranean on the coast of Gaza. That was President Biden back during his State of the Union address. Fast forward a few weeks, and despite being at odds over a ceasefire, Israel is agreeing to provide a so-called security bubble for the U.S. pier project off the coast of Gaza. It's aimed at helping provide much-needed humanitarian aid. Officials familiar with the plans broke the news to Politico. Here's what we know. Israeli Defense Forces will be responsible for securing the pier to the beach, but it's still in the planning stages. Nothing is entirely settled yet. A spokesperson did confirm the IDF will be, quote, coordinating with the U.S. military to facilitate the project, but didn't get into details beyond that. The pier is needed for Gazans, who the U.N. says are facing imminent famine as the Israel-Hamas war continues. Once the pier is complete, it will be used to deliver more than 2 million meals a day. The U.S. says it will be a better way to deliver aid, especially in the wake of deadly incidents involving airdropped supplies. Twelve Palestinians drowned off the northern Gaza coast trying to reach airdropped packages that landed in the water. Another five were killed in a separate airdrop incident when a parachute failed to deploy properly. The pier would end the need for these airdrops. But it's going to take some time. Once construction begins, it will take two months to complete. When finished, the pier will float about three to five miles offshore. An 1,800-foot causeway anchored to the beach will be used by ships to offload aid onto the pier. After that, trucks will take it and distribute it into Gaza. In order to ensure this gets done in a timely fashion, or done at all, workers are going to need to be kept safe. That's where Israel comes in. But the way the IDF will provide security or secure the pier is still a mystery. Because of that, lawmakers have some serious questions about how the construction process will go. Congressman Mike Rogers of Alabama accused President Biden of being politically motivated to build the pier. He cited a protest vote in Michigan's Democratic primary in which a large swath of voters wrote in uncommitted because of U.S. support for Israel's military efforts, pushing Biden to move, quote, really fast on the pier. Rogers says he wants more answers, and so do Democrats. The White House says no American troops will be on the ground to build the pier. When asked how that would happen, specifics were not given. But the Pentagon says the U.S. military has, quote, unique capabilities and can do things from just offshore.